Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Dubrow, and about a week ago or something, I actually asked you guys on Instagram, would you rather see another colorful look or like a warm tone look? And 55% of you said you wanted a colorful look. So, as you guys already know, I'm giving you all the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Roy G. Biv, baby. But I'm going to stop talking. Let's get right into the video. So, as always, I'm going to be doing my eyes first. So my eyes have dark circles, a darker inner corner, and other random off-color places. <laughs> so to cancel out that darkness and to have a more flawless, full-coverage look, I'm taking this Jeffree Star Magic Star Color Corrector in the shade Peach. So I'm adding that to my inner corner, under my eye, and pretty much all over my lid. Patting that out with my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush and blending that all the way up to my brow. So I've come to the conclusion. Then, without setting that peach, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the shade C4, and I'm just adding that right over top of that peach and blending that out all over my eye as well. And just so you guys know, these concealers blend out like a dream. I love them so much, and I only got them a couple days ago. <laughs> Now that I have my blank canvas, I'm taking this Glitter Realm Summerita palette and I'm dipping into that bright yellow shadow with my Morphe M513 brush, which is actually kind of like this fat crease blending brush. So I'm smudging that into my crease and a little bit above to get as much yellow on there as possible because usually when I blend out a yellow eyeshadow, it seems to just disappear. So I'm really packing that in there. Next, to blend that shadow upwards towards my brow, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Large Blending Brush and really not trying to make it perfectly blended because I'm going to be blending a lot in this video so it'll end up looking good. <laughs> also just a side note, this yellow didn't disappear when I blended it out so that was awesome. Anyways, after I'm done blending out that shadow, I'm taking this bright orange shadow from the same Summerita palette with the same Morphe brush and I'm once again focusing that in my inner corner and a little bit above. And, of course, taking the same large blending brush, first with no extra product on the brush, then I blended in a little bit of yellow mixed with literally the tiniest bit of orange to just make sure that those two colors fuse together. Then for the last shadow, I'm taking this ready color and of course blending that into my crease and a little bit above. See, I just want to and once again, blending that out with no extra product, then this time, instead of a yellow-orange combo being blended in, I'm taking the orange and the tiniest bit of red shadow and popping that mainly onto the top outer V area, wiping off any excess from my brush and then blending that in a windshield wiper motion. <laughs> Now that we have this gorgeous sunset look, I want to cut my crease. That sounds bad, but it's not. <laughs> I want my whole lid to go back to that blank canvas look before any of the shadows were applied. So I'm taking that Jeffree Star concealer again in that shade C4 with a random tiny brush, and I'm sweeping that across my lid, pulling that all the way out to or past my brow. And also just a little side note, uh, to determine how high you go up with your concealer, I open my eye, like not a huge amount, but just a little bit Bit less open than normal <laughs> while the concealer was still a little bit wet and it left a cute little line for me to follow and of course so that concealer doesn't move I'm taking the Jeffree Star Magic Star <laughs> setting powder in the shade fair and I'm patting that all over the concealed area now even though there are still things I want to fix up with the eyeshadow I'll get back into that after I finish this fat wing I'm about to do. So for the wing, I am taking this liquid liner by Stila Cosmetics and kind of using this as like a map for the glitter. And I want it to be the right shape with a point at the end, but it wasn't necessarily like the best wing, but it doesn't really matter since all of that liner will be covered up with layers of glitter. I'm 
Now for my absolute favorite part. I'm taking this Glitter Realm Bright Green Loose Glitter with this MAC Mixing Medium and this random rubber angled brush. And I'm tapping that apple green onto the whole outer wing area. And just so you can't see the black on the edges of the wing, I'm applying each glitter just past those edges, which inherently makes the wing fatter, but I'm not too mad about that. I want a super fat wing for this look so you can't miss that glitter at all. The next glitter is this gorgeous royal blue, which is also by Glitter Realm as well. And I'm applying that to the middle portion of the wing, pulling that just a little bit past where the color portion of my eyes starts. And for the last glitter, I am taking this gorgeous deep purple and I am applying that to the inner part of the wing and stopping right where my eye color stops. <laughs> Next, so there's not just this harsh difference between each glitter color, I'm taking a tiny bit of the green and tapping that onto where the green and blue separate, as well as patting a tiny bit of blue over top of that green that we just added, so it looks like it's somewhat blended together, as well as doing the same thing with the blue and purple. Alright, now that the wing is completely done, I wanted to touch up my eyeshadow a bit, where the concealer and eyeshadow meet. It was kind of jagged, so I'm taking that Morphe brush again, not taking any product off of the brush, just leaving it as is, and I'm blending my crease in a little above again. And after I had done that, I felt like the yellow had been overpowered by the orange eyeshadow. So, taking my large blending brush again, I got some yellow shadow with a tiniest bit of orange, like a dab, and blended that out right above the orange. And then of course, I felt like the orange wasn't as visible anymore, so I added some more orange above the red. And now that I have stopped being insanely picky but with the eyeshadow, I can start on my face. So first things first, I'm taking this new Jeffree Star color corrector in the shade green, and I'm applying that to my red scars and irritated looking pimples to cancel out all of that redness. And I'm buffing that into my face using this Eco Tools Wonder Cover Complex brush. Then add some glow and glitter that will peek through my foundation. I'm taking the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost Highlighter in the shade Goddess and adding that to my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. And I'm dotting that all over my face and then blending that out as well as dragging that down my neck. Next, I'm taking one of my favorite foundations by Tarte called Shape Tape Matte Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral, and I'm brushing a good amount of that to my cheeks and a normal amount everywhere else. <laughs> and of course, blending all of that out using the One Sweep Wonder Brush by It Cosmetics, and I actually just recently bought this brush, and I think it's going to become my new go-to foundation brush. It covers a pretty big portion of my face, so the blending goes by faster, and most importantly, it makes my face look perfectly airbrushed. It's expensive, but definitely worth the money to me. And after I blend all that foundation all the way down my neck, and everything looks good. I'm taking that Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the shade C4 again, and I'm applying that under my eyes, mostly to get rid of my dark circles, but I'm also applying that to my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin, but mostly to highlight those areas. And of course, to blend that concealer out, I'm taking my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush again, and blending all of that out, making sure to drag it as close to my lower lash line as possible. Touch our face. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Then so my foundation and concealer do not move, I'm taking the sponge part of this Revolution brush and dipping that into the new Jeffree Star Magic Star Setting Powder in the shade Fair again. And I'm pressing that into all the areas that I have concealed, as well as places that crease for me, like my smile lines. And then I'm flipping that brush over to the fluffy side and applying that powder to the rest of my face as well as brushing off the excess powder from the pressed in areas. 
Next, with that same Revolution brush, I'm dipping into this powder bronzer called Sculpt from the Tardius Pro Glow palette. And I'm applying way too much of that to my cheeks, starting from the top of my ear, heading downwards diagonally, as well as adding that up my temples, forehead, the sides of my nose, and my jaw. And of course, blending that out using a random powder brush. <laughs> Next, with that same random powder brush, I'm dipping into the Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighter in the shade Ice Cold, and I'm dusting that onto the tops of my cheeks, mixing it with the bronzer, as well as up my temples, over the tail of my eyebrows, down my nose, and adding just a tiny bit to the tip of my nose, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow. And also with the excess highlighter on my brush, I just brush that out all over my face, starting on my forehead, working my way down. Okay, now that my face is done, I'm taking this NYX Strobe Genius Palette and I'm dipping into that purple highlighter with my large blending brush and I'm applying that to the inner corner of my eyes. And in person, this highlighter didn't really seem like a highlighter. It seemed more like a purple powder. So to get that real highlighty feel to it, I topped it off with some Ice Cold Skin Frost by Jeffree Star. Then going back into the Summerita palette with my Morphe M513 brush again and I'm dipping into this hot pink color and I'm blending that under my lash line, dragging that all the way in until I hit the highlight. And of course for the waterline and lash line, I'm taking this gorgeous blue eyeliner called Deep End by Urban Decay Cosmetics and I'm rubbing that back and forth until I'm satisfied with how pigmented that blue gets. Then to top off the eyes, I'm taking my favorite CoverGirl Lash Blast Active Mascara and I'm applying that to my top and bottom lashes. And last but definitely not least for the lips, I'm using this CoverGirl Kitty Cat Gloss in the shade Tabby Tease. Not being too careful or neat with that at all and dabbing off the excess so it turns out like your lip colored but a little bit muted and it makes your lips look hydrated and smooth so that's perfect. And just so you know, if you do not like thick glosses, the Kitty Cat glosses are not for you. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it for this look. I had so much fun playing around with some new makeup and brushes today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you're interested in any of the products I used in this tutorial, they'll be linked down below in the description bar. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!